You read the title? Hi, my name is Gabriel Platt. I'm 20 years old. I'm a filmmaker, director, DP, editor. I'm everything right now because that's what I have to be. Don't mind the background. We just moved. I just set the lamp up just for the video. The box is back there. You know what I mean? We still like said, no, it's about to be, it's about to be content run. Okay, this is my first talking video on this channel. I'm cooked right now. Like, I don't know, I have that content voice on. This isn't content. This is a video, this is an inspirational video. This is a video for you. If you haven't made a first short film yet, five tips, five tips going over like 90% of the process, uh, maybe about 80% of the process of my experience and things that I learned making my first short film, Solace is Sun. We're good now, okay? This isn't content. I'm a friend. I'm doing this mostly for myself because I'm like, you know, I got, I got to get into it. I got to get into it again. Yeah, I got to get into it. I got to get into it. Okay, let's go. First tip: storyboarding is essential in the filmmaking process and making your first short film. I found storyboarding like really, really useful because I can sketch out and visualize the way each shot looked like before even arriving on set. It gave me a chance to get super details. So I knew where the camera would be, where the actor would be, what lens I was using, all that stuff. Wearing both the director and cinematographer hats during production was a little bit challenging, but my storyboard basically smoothed everything out and made sure that I was prepared for each day. Tip number two, reviewing your script at the end of each filming day keeps everything precise and updated. So the day that we were about to film the creek scene for Solace's Son, I was doing my daily check over of the script and realized that I hadn't updated to reflect that Dante and Sam were older. Originally the scene had them as children, but we didn't have time to schedule and cast child actors. So I just got some of my friends and my cousins to help me out. But due to this mistake, the first time actors had to end Improvise, which really isn't ideal for a first time actor scene in a short film or in any film. It made it really unprofessional and made the filming even longer that day. So always make sure to check over your scripts, remind yourself what's going on, just keep everybody updated with a script change because that's your job as a director, as a producer, as a cinematographer, all that. It makes everything run smoothly. Tip number three, set a production standard and stick to it. Whether that's budgeting, transportation, snacks, all that. All right, this one is low key pretty funny, but for the first four days of production, we had a crafty table. If you don't know what a crafty table is, it's basically like a table where you can have snacks and just stuff for the crew and the cast. After that fourth day ended, I don't know what happened, but it vanished, you know, it was never to be seen again. And since the vanishing of the crafty table, I had to pay for lunches if filming ever went longer than expected. This is probably more of a nuanced experience, but it highlights the importance of sticking to standards, setting standards and sticking to it. And it also highlights the importance of small details like a crafty table, like having a budget for lunch, all of that stuff. Tip number four. Pre-production is as or even more important than production. Honestly, one of my biggest mistakes when filming Solid Sun was not spending enough time in pre-production. Filming and reshoots for an 18 minute, 29 second short film spanned over six months is not good. I will say one of the main issues was scheduling with actors and weather. My eagerness to just start clouded my judgment and created a domino effect of rescheduling and stuff. Making sure to get an outside opinion or second opinion on scheduling, on weather, triple checking the weather that's super important what you envision may not actually align with reality tip number five creating relationships with your cast and crew before going into production is important and it helps everyone be comfortable and helps production roll smoothly without a doubt this is the best decision i made before going into production so i put the entire cast and crew into a group chat then we met up and hung out everybody can meet each other you know we could talk about the short film i could talk about my the ideas that we had People could talk to each other, you know. We even went roller skating after. This helped everybody get comfortable with each other, making the on-set experience so smooth and so natural. If someone needed a ride, they texted the group chat and we figured it out. If someone needed gas money, you know, they asked. It became sort of a small community. It helped so much that I even struggled to call Solid Sun my movie. It was so much of a group effort. It's been about like seven months since we wrapped and we still text each other every day. So yeah, I say that's the most important lesson that I learned. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gave you some guidance on what to look out for, what to expect, all that stuff. Go watch Solid Sun if you haven't. It's my most viewed video on this channel. It's crazy. But yeah, thank you for watching.